Good evening, Mr. and Ms. Internet and all our ships at sea. It's Wednesday afternoon and it's time once again for the Freeway Forum. Coming to you live and direct from the world famous 405 Freeway in beautiful, sunny Southern California. My name is Atari and I'll be your host for this free form, open forum here on the freeway. I want to know what you think. You sound off in the comments below and I will keep on talking. Anyway, so there's been a lot of gamery kind of news going on lately. e 3 is going on uh, over up in LA, E3, and uh, we're seeing the, the trickle of news coming out of the uh, of the big publishers. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we've been floating around on Facebook the uh, past couple of weeks. Uh, this whole, uh, this whole uh, meme thing. And I said meme like M-E-M-E-Y, not, not mispronouncing meme, of course. Um, this meme-ish thing of, uh, you know, uh, trying to, uh, trying to guess a, uh, a video game uh, by uh, having somebody explain it very badly. And it's been kind of fun, and I've uh, been seeing the news out of E3, so I decided, you know what, let's talk about some gaming today. Let's talk about some video games. I want to know, I want to know what your favorite game is. I want to know what your favorite video game is, video game is. Uh, I want to know what that is. I also want to know if you have any, any interesting memories of, of video games, and uh, we'll talk about that. And let's uh, let's see what everybody's got here. Thank you all for uh, thank you all for coming in, and thank you for sharing. Uh, click the share video, share this with your friends. Let's get everybody in, and let's uh, let's have a fun time talking about the video games. Let's talk about how. Yes, Barbie. Oh my gosh. The Barbie and the Twilight Princess. Lord God Almighty, Barbie has been playing Twilight Princess since she bought a Wii when it was new. The original Wii. Yes. So, uh, yeah, Barbie, uh, finish Twilight. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. We all want you to finish it now. Hey, Alan. Haven't seen you in forever. Come on in. Welcome in. Drop your, uh, drop your things in the comments there. She loves it so much, she doesn't want to finish it. I can say things about that. Yeah, yeah. Now, you see, if you finish Twilight Princess, then you, we talked about this, then you can play, uh, you can play Spirit Tracks and, and Phantom Hourglass and Link Between Worlds and, uh, Get a, if we get a switch, you can play Breath of the Wild. Why not? Why not finish it? Finish it. It's a great game. So, I, me, myself, I am a huge, huge Metroid fan. To me, Metro, Super Metroid, Metroid 3. Uh, oh, Alan's got uh, the Golden Eye on N64. Good Lord, yes. Absolutely. One of the best games ever made, and certainly for people of a particular age, one of the defining moments of their uh, of their adolescence. I, I, am, I am one of those. I am right there with you, bud. And we will talk about that in a few minutes, so stay tuned. Uh, share this with your friends. Get your friends involved. And let's hear what everybody's got to say. So I am a huge, uh, huge Metroid fan. I uh, love Super Metroid. Super Metroid is, to me, one of the best games ever made. Um, and uh, everything in that vein, that, that whole, like, Metroidvania sort of, uh, sort of vein. Uh, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania, uh, Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, of course, the original Castlevania is on the NES, Castlevania 4. Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Zero Mission, uh, Metroid Fusion, all the 2D Metroids. Those are my favorite, favorite games ever. Uh, and what I, uh, I, I absolutely, Metroid 3, favorite game, hands down. I have played that game multiple times all the way through. Never quite got 100% on it. I will eventually change that, though. Uh, I've got to play 
meet again, probably in the next few months. What do you got here, Barbie? What do you got when you were younger? Mom used to play video games from Albert. Oh, you rented the games from Albertsons. Take you a whole weekend. Finish a game in a weekend. See, I, I was never allowed to. Uh, I was never really allowed to rent video games. Like we had the what was it? Movie Stop or no, not Movie Stop. It was. Uh, Gosh, what was the name of that dang uh, video store? Of course, they had them at, at Kroger, and they had them at, uh, you know, uh, wherever. This is before Hollywood Video, even. Uh, before, we didn't have a Blockbuster nearby, but it was, we never went to Blockbuster, but we had the, uh, uh, gosh, what was the name of the place? It was next to the Kroger uh, at Village Green on uh, Dallas Highway there, uh, across from where the avenue is now. They, they, there was a, a rental store there next to a Little, little Caesars and uh, we would rent videos from there periodically and, but I was never allowed to rent a video game because video games were like $5 a day or something ridiculous where, whereas we could rent a VHS tape for what $5 for the week or something like that something, something ridiculous so, uh, so I didn't get to rent a lot of games uh, to rent very many games and of course you know for some reason my my family was just like adamantly you know don't rent games don't rent games. I'm like why I want to play this game and they're like well you have other games so so I didn't get exposed to a lot of games you know rental wise I didn't get exposed to a lot of them until I was like in high school oh look at me bring yeah yeah Good old Cobb County, man. Good old Cobb County. You can take the you can take the boy out of Cobb County and you can't take Cobb County out the boy. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Shout out to my West Cobb peeps. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. So uh anyway. So we never really, uh, never really rented games. Uh, I didn't, I didn't get exposed to a lot of different games until I was older, until I was in high school, until I had money myself. Uh, at, at which point in time, uh, of course, uh, Funko Land became a thing uh, for a short time. Funko Land was amazing. I love the Funko Land, and I was so sad. I was so extremely sad when. Uh, when GameStop bought it, or EB, I think it was EB bought it, and then GameStop bought EB, or however that went down. Either way, Funko Land ceased to exist. But I bought a lot of dang games at Funko Land. See, I didn't, that's, that's what I'm saying, I didn't have a lot of games, period, uh, for the longest time, until Funko Land was a thing. And, uh, and so, like, that was when I really started. I bought a lot of older games. This was before collecting was a thing, before retro game collections were a thing. This was, of course, way before YouTube and you know, guys like Pat the NES Punk and James Rolfe and Cinemasker, the Angry Video Game Nerd, and you know, uh, Lazy Game Reviews. And, you know, long time before these guys even existed, before YouTube even existed as a thing. Really, like, it was... The only people doing anything game related was it was like Mega 64, and they were posting, you know, these really like short, clippy kind of videos on something awful, and it was just uh, that was that was it for a long time. But when I went to Funko Land, and I would buy stuff out of Funko Land. Funko Land had the they had the newsprint. They had the, just their list of games that they had in stock, and it was all printed on newsprint and the pricing and everything. And I was buying like. I was buying armloads of Nintendo games. Armloads of Nintendo games. Because they were they were cheap. They were less than a dollar each, most of them. It was amazing. I loved it. Uh, you could still buy... Uh, you, you know, I was getting... I was getting Genesis games, and I was getting... Uh, I was getting uh, Super NES games. Actually, no. No, sorry. I wasn't getting Super NES games, because I didn't have a Super NES at the time. Uh, I had a Genesis, though, because my cousin gave me his Genesis, because uh, he got a PlayStation or something, and he didn't want it anymore, so, so that's what I had, you know, so I was, I was gathering games for that, uh, rented a game in your own, that's 
that's a good question. Did you all? Did, did anybody who rented games uh, prolifically? Uh, did they always finish it before returning the game? And I'll, I'll go back and I say, you know, we never really. I never really rented any games. So no, I never. You know, I don't remember ever finishing a game uh, before returning it. Of course. And the the couple of games I did rent, uh, they weren't very good games either. So it's just, they were kind of terrible. I think I, I think we rented, uh, I think we rented like Rollerblade Racer or something like that. My cousin and I rented that. Uh, and it was it was a terrible, terrible game. I will probably play it sometime and do a video on it. That was just that was amazingly terrible. Um, so no, I can't say that I ever finished actually finished a game. So, no, you know, favorite games, favorite games and everything, favorite games, what is your favorite game? Drop it there in the comments. Uh, I also want to know about video game memories. Uh, of course, you guys have been very active talking about uh, memories of games, and I, I love that. Um, now, i, I got to share a couple of interesting ones with you. Now, now for one, uh, Rampage. Rampage on the NES. <laughs> oh, Barbie. See, see now we will we will have to play Rampage on the on the NES at some point. We will do that. Uh, this will be uh, this will be entertaining. She's concerned about me driving and being on Facebook Live. See, that's great. See, the most of this is actually just moving very very slowly, and uh, I'm keeping my eyes on the road. It's hard, probably hard for you to tell because I'm wearing my old man glasses. Uh, but I am keeping my eyes on the road to occasionally glance down and check what the comments are saying. So if I don't respond to a comment, please forgive me. I am primarily driving. Yeah. So, um, so memories of games. Uh, one, one really does stick out in my head. Now, of course, there's the story. You know, you know, three or four disgruntled teenagers. Gathered around a uh, gathered around a television and uh, playing you know, GoldenEye and just slappers only and bah, 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 and just running around license to kill like slapping each other, which was hilarious. Um, but I have there is a story I have to tell, um, and this involves my friend Reed. Now Reed, uh, Reed and I have lots of stories and. and if, if he were in here, I wish he would j jump in. He's probably not on Facebook right now, so uh, that's not surprising. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, you know, they say that Atlanta has worse, or they say that LA has worse traffic than Atlanta. I beg to differ because I can get home from the office about 18 miles from door to door. I can get home 35, 45 minutes. Um, all freeway in uh, in LA, and the same drive. I had similar commutes, uh, similar commutes in Atlanta. The same sort of distance would take me easily twice that, easily one and a half to twice that. So, um, you know, I I argue this whole like Atlanta and LA thing. You know, I you know I have seen some prolific traffic. I have seen some ridiculous traffic. And, um, slippers. Yes! Oh my god, who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love, um, the, uh, the license to kill rules where it's just one shot kill and you just run around with the slappers. Pop, pop, pop. And then, of course, somebody has to play odd job and everybody hates that person. It's just like, ah, and you can't hit them. But, uh, anyway. So, <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I just ran over some insulation. That's fantastic. So, uh, Reed. So, uh, this was this was back in the PlayStation days, and Reed had just got uh, Reed had just got a copy of uh, Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation, and he got to the part where spoiler alert. I mean, it's a twenty year old game, whatever. But he got to the part where he stuck. Um, Yay! Hi, Ronan! 
He's like, who is that guy? I think I might have seen him one time. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, uh... Yeah, that was sort of a house rule. Don't be odd job. You can't be odd job. Um, this is just like, he's so small. It's like, what the heck? And then, but the funny thing is, odd job was like really tiny in the GoldenEye video game. But, I mean, you remember him in, uh, in, in uh, Goldfinger. He's a big dude. Like, he's not short. He is a big dude. Uh, he's short compared to Sean Connery because Sean Connery is very tall. Um... But, like, you see him standing next to Gert Frobe, and he's a big dude. Like, you see him standing next to, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, played, uh, played Felix Leiter. And, and he's just, like, a normal, like, normal height, but he's big. Like, I don't get why Oddjob was so tiny in that game. And then, of course, there was, like, DK mode or whatever, uh, like, Donkey Kong mode, where their heads were gigantic. And so it can make, like, headshots really easy, but, yeah, anyway. I didn't play a whole lot of cheat rules with, uh, with my friends. It was, it was more we were running around and, and just, you know, Chris and I and, um, Chris and, and Dimblebeck and I would, um, we, or, or Chris and Gilmore and I, depending on who was there, um, we would just kind of run around and, and get shot. <laughs> And Adam would just sort of like kill everyone and just run the board, and it was just like, let's play, let's play tiny tanks. Okay, let's go play tiny tanks. Alrighty, what is your favorite video? Game? My favorite video game. Okay. Oh well, let me finish the uh, let me finish the read story because I keep getting sidetracked here, and I will tell you my favorite game again. Um, anyway, so the read story. Uh, so he's got. Um, he has a brand new copy of Metal Gear Solid, and he's playing Metal Gear Solid, and he, you know, he's enjoying it and everything. And um, he gets to the part where he's where where Snake is captured by Revolver Ocelot and is being tortured in the electrical chair thing in the bullpen. And um, okay, and we're back. I hope we're back. Yeah, so there is this, there's an overpass that, I think it's Atlantic Avenue that runs over uh, the 405 here by Long Beach Airport. And it, it's hit or miss. If, if you're under that over, if you're under that bridge, if you're under that overpass for too long, you'll lose your cell signal. Um, very, very thick, like it's all, I mean, it's, it's dug out, so it's underground. Yeah, sorry about that. So, I, uh, very quickly, to answer your question, uh, Super Metroid is absolutely my favorite game overall, um, old or new. Um, so, my... Um, oh, dear. Barbie is shopping for Little Row. God help us. Um, <laughs> anyway, favorite game overall, Metroid 2. Or, no, sorry, not Metroid 2, Metroid 3. Super Metroid. Uh, for uh, SNES. Um, absolute favorite game. But uh, new games, I... You know, the newest game I've played, I'll, I'll be honest, the newest game I've played... Actually, no, I, I did play some stuff on Wii U, so there's that. Um, but... The newest, newest, newest... Um, Metroid Odyssey is really good. Uh, I've been playing that on 3DS. That is that's been that's been my sort of game right now is is Etrian Odyssey, and I haven't played it in a while. But it's a really really good RPG on the 3DS. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Yes, Barbie. Alan. Alan's a very old buddy of mine. Uh, Way back, way back. Uh, from the old McKeecher and MUMC and the MYF and all that good stuff back in the day. Hey, look, it's Johnny Stahl. What's up, buddy? And Johnny Gregory. It's John and John. We're getting all the Johns in now. Let's get more Johns in. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, so, story, uh, 
Yeah, way back. Yeah. Yeah. John doesn't go quite as far back as Alan does, but John does go way back. Back to good old cafe borders. I still tell the caramel macchiato story. Um, I still have that. That, that. that comes up in conversation every once in a while. Um, anyway, so... Um, I got a big old dump truck next to me. Anyway, so... So Reed had... Uh, Reed's stuck in that section of... Um, uh, Metal Gear Solid, where you're you're being tortured, and uh... <laughs> oh, we got another John! Yes, yes, John Gilmore's here. Yes, we need all the Johns. Everyone, share this with your friends named John. Get them all in here, as many as you can, please. That would be amazing. That would be. This is like. This is like the, 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 the Society for the Proliferation of People Named John. Anyway, so... <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so Reed is, uh, Reed is stuck. He's trying to draw a map of this. It's a shadow, but wow. That, that's impressive if you can do that. If you can draw a map to Shadow Moses. It's somewhere, what, off the Alaskan coast? Somewhere in the Aleutians? I can't even remember where it's supposed to be. Anyway, um, so Reed is stuck in the torture chamber, and he can't get through. Uh, no, no, Barbie, Barbie, you're thinking of Michael Gilmore. Uh, John is his older brother. So, um, anyway... So anyway, uh, Reed is stuck in the torture chamber, and he can't get through it, and <laughs> so it's like 11 o'clock at night, 11.30, something like that, and I get a phone call, and this is back when you actually still called people. Uh, this was before texting was actually a thing, because texting still cost like 10 cents per text. And, um, so, so I get this phone call at like 11 o'clock at night, 11.30 at night, and it's guilt, it's, it's Reed. <laughs> He's like, man, I need your help. I can't get past this guy. And I'm like, oh, what are you playing? Metal Gears. You know, you know the guy with the, with the electric chair, Metal Gear? Yeah, Revolver Ocelot, and you gotta press the button really fast. Yeah. I can't press the button fast enough! So, like, alright, fine. I'll be there in half an hour. Because, I, you know, this was summertime. It, it was, like, summer in Georgia, and there's nothing to do. It's late at night. So, I just get in the car, I drive over to Reed's house... And he lived on, like, the other side of Marietta, uh, way over off, like, Shalifer, somewhere over there. And uh, so I drove over there. I mean, it, was, it was pretty easy. Just go straight up Barrett Parkway, just to keep going. Um, so I got over there. I got over there. I got, you know, it's like, stopped at Quick Trip and got taquitos and Coca-Cola and a coffee or something like that, you know. Your typical like night fuel. <laughs> oh, those quick trip taquitos! I miss the quick trip taquitos. By the way, y'all, uh, everybody back east, I do miss the quick trip taquitos. 7-Eleven just don't do it. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, I need my quick trip and I need my racetrack. Um, but uh, anyway, so I got my I got my my night fuel. And uh, so basically, summer in Georgia right now. It's so humid. Well, yeah, because it's summer in Georgia, of course. That's you know, people ask me why I moved to liberal California, and I'm like, um, try go, try coming here in the summertime and then going back. Yes, yes, I need taquitos. 
I'm like, I don't care about the politics here. I just like the weather. And um, anyway, so I try not to get into politics during the freeway forum anymore because it didn't work out so well. So we're going to keep it fun and keep it light. Um, anyways, people ask me why I moved to California. And I'm like, oh, uh, the weather. Duh. Brian Wilson was all about the California girls, which, yeah, yeah got to admit, California girls. like three times you're like in my backyard because you go to Disneyland so you gotta you gotta say hi next time you're over here yes loves me the Disneyland I miss going to Disneyland used to go all the freaking time we had the annual pass and, uh, but it's just not a good time to go to Disneyland right now because every you know half the park is under construction and it's going to be like ridiculously crowded. All right, I see your promise there. You, you better, you better. Anyway, so I'm going to finish this story eventually. <laughs> so, uh, so, so I go over there and I go in and it takes like, you know, he's got the game paused at like at the right point. I just walk in and I grab the, I grab the, uh, he hands me the controller, and I take the controller, and I just, like, I can't do it like this, like, I, I, like, lay down, I'm, like, prone on the floor, controller in front of me, you know, I can't, I don't know if I can move my finger that fast anymore, you know, I'm getting kind of old, um, so, I'm on the floor, and I'm just, on the stupid button, and, and the little life meter just barely, like, moves down, just barely. I read stand there. How do you do that? And I'm like, I don't know, caffeine? And it probably was the caffeine, quite honestly, because I don't I don't drink coffee like I used to. I may have my one cup, you know, I might have a second cup on the weekends or something like that. I just, but I I'm not buzzing like I used to for I mean for better or worse. Um Caffeine, maybe? Well, the clean crack? Maybe I just had nimble fingers, I don't know. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's one of my interesting read stories. That's my uh, that's my read video game memory. Um, oh, and I have another one. Since uh, since Mandy's in here, uh, I'm gonna tell another uh, read story uh, with video games. So I, I was I was babysitting my baby sister. Remember. Yes, there she is. There she is. Oh no, the the image is mirrored. Um, so uh, somehow or other, I had I had my baby sister Mandy, and gosh, how old were you? Probably like nine, ten, maybe. And um, and. I take her over to Reed's house, which, whatever. <laughs> anyway, and we were doing, I can't remember what we were doing. I am not on the 91, by the way. So, you, your, your Southern California uh, geography is subpar, especially for being a native of this area. Um, anyway, so the, um, so, uh, um, we go over to Reed's house for some, I can't remember why, but anyway, we're hanging out at Reed's house, and, and Reed's playing uh, GTA 3. He just got GTA 3, and he's all having fun with it. We're over there, and I've got Mandy, and 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 he hands the controller over to Mandy. He's like, you want to play? And and, uh, and she's like, oh, okay, and, you know, show her how to show her how to play the thing. And so she's like running around like as the guy in GTA, running around as a guy and like smacking people over the head and stealing cars. <laughs> and so, so, you know, she's stealing cars. And of course you have the, you have the little side missions in, uh, in GTA 3 uh, where you steal like certain emergency vehicles and like go on side missions and stuff. 
and she's driving around, she crashes one car, gets out of it, and there's a fire truck down at the end of the street. And he's like, hey, you know you can steal the fire truck, right? And her eyes just went, what? <laughs> like, I can steal the fire truck? And these little wheels start turning, and I'm like, yes! Yes! Corruption! Corrupting my sibling. Anyway, so... So there was that. I just loved this game. Absolutely loved this game. And so I bought her... Um, I bought her a copy uh, for... Because she had a PlayStation 2, I think. Like, Mom bought her a PlayStation 2 or something uh, at her house. And so I bought her a copy of this game. And, and she was all like, yes, like super excited about it. And, and then my mom was like... She, like, pulled me aside. She's like, why are you giving your 10-year-old sister a rated mature game? I'm like, she's not gonna... This this game has hookers and rape in it. It has hookers and rape and murder. You can't... You, she can't play that. And I'm like, why not? She's not gonna do that. She's just gonna run around steal cars all day. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, right? Yes, the flamethrower. <laughs> oh, man. Those were the days. Those were good days. Those were fantastic times. Man, oh man. I gotta roll this window down a little bit. It's getting warm. Oh man, so those are my those are sort of my my biggest gaming memories. Now of course, you know, there's you know, like I said, there's playing uh, there's playing Goldeneye with the guys, uh, you know, Mario Kart and all the, the really fun social stuff. I should do a video soon. I should do a video uh, one of these days. I want to get Barbie in on some of these videos. Um, and I think it would be hilarious because Barbie's really, well, I would say she's better than me at Smash Brothers. So I think it would be kind of hilarious to for, for people to watch the two of us like trash talking each other and playing Smash Brothers. Um, which I, I think would be fun. I don't know if you guys would think that. You know, uh, hip. Hit me with a like if, if you think that's a good idea. Uh, or, or drop a comment there in the doobly-doo. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll try, to, we'll try to put something together. So, I want to know from you guys, uh, what is your favorite gaming memory? I just told you mine. I just told you mine. And to answer, answer questions, uh, the first question, just in case anybody missed it beforehand. Uh, for me, my favorite game... Uh, now, of course, my favorite franchise is Metroid, specifically uh, Metroid 3, uh, Super Metroid on Super NES. Uh, that is hands down my favorite game. So, of course, it was natural. Yesterday, Nintendo announced two new Metroid games, two real Metroid games. <laughs> you want to see Barbie talk some smack. <laughs> Everybody loves it when Barbie talks smack. It's hilarious. It's amazing. Love you, dear. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, so yeah, so specifically uh, Metroid Three, and I, you know, yesterday uh, Nintendo announced two new Metroid games. The two Metroid games that people have been clamoring for, they've been wanting to see for years. Uh, we're getting Metroid Prime Four, which Metroid Prime is a fantastic series too. I'm not crazy about FPSs, but I do enjoy Metroid uh, Prime because it, it's an FPS version of Metroid, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, not crazy about FPS games, uh, mostly because they're all very boring and not very novel, but, but Metroid and Portal, those two are, are, are really fantastic. Uh, I do enjoy those two games uh, as far as FPS-type games, first-person type games. Uh, first-person puzzler, first-person explorer, and um, the uh, so Metroid Prime 4 coming out on the Switch, which means I may end up having to get a Switch to play Metroid Prime 4. Uh, and uh, even bigger than that for me is um, uh, Samus Returns, uh, Metroid Samus Returns on the 3DS because I already have a 3DS. Uh, I am very excited about Samus Returns. It is a uh, 
reimagining, they say, is a reimagining of Metroid 2, which was a great game, just had a lot of flaw. It was well, it was well thought out, well put together, but it just had a lot of flaws due to the technical limitations of the Game Boy. Uh, so hopefully this is sort of going to be the uh, fix, if you will. Uh, AM2R, uh, Metroid 2 has been it's sort of the a target, I guess you will, if you want to call it that. It's been a subject of uh, game remakes uh, for years, years and years. And uh, AM2R is probably the most well-known uh, Metroid 2 remake. Uh, and that one was just finished. It was just finished earlier this year. And then, of course, Nintendo sent the C&D, like, immediately. Uh, and they were very, very hard. They, the hammer came down very, very hard on AM2R. Uh, and everybody's kind of smacking their forehead saying, oh, that's why, because they were actually working on their own Metroid 2 remake, and that's fine. That's that's fine, well, and good. And uh, hats off to Nintendo for finally doing the right thing and uh, giving what the fans want and making a Metroid 2 remake. But, uh, so you guys are welcome to continue this in the comments below. I'm about to sign off because I'm getting off the freeway now. Uh, so drop it a like, share this video with your pals. Uh, and of course, check out AirborneSurfer.com for more interesting stuff. Uh, follow along on Twitter, at AirborneSurfer. And uh, you can check out more videos on YouTube.com slash TheAirborneSurfer. My name is Atari. I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you stopping in. I appreciate you joining me for a laugh and uh, keeping the madness and the traffic away. Uh, I will see you all next week. Until then, tally-ho, y'all.